In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Christ is risen. Today marks the halfway point between Pascha and Pentecost. Similarly, in the Gospel, Jesus ascended the steps of the temple during the halfway point of the Feast of Tabernacles. The Feast of Tabernacles is an eight-day autumn harvest festival commemorating the time when Israel wandered in the wilderness of Sinai and the people lived in tents or tabernacles. Along with Passover and Pentecost, this was one of the three most important festivals of the ancient Jews. It included many sacrifices and celebrations. When Jesus taught in the temple, the congregants in the temple, when Jesus taught the congregants in the temple about the Torah or the Pentateuch, the Torah or Pentateuch is the five, first five books of Moses in the Old Testament. Jesus was then questioned by the Jewish temple leaders about his knowledge and understanding for, and for healing on the Sabbath. We even see a foreshadow to the temple leaders wanting to put Jesus to his death. But one verse from today's passage sticks out to me and I would like to share a thought. They sought to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him because his hour had not yet come. Jesus' hour, Jesus' hour is an hour that only God knew, as God is the creator and maker of time, space, and matter. It is at the time of Jesus' suffering and death on the cross. That was his hour. Similarly, St. Irenaeus of Lyons tells us that he was waiting for the hour that was foreknown by his father. Hence, because of that, when the people wanted to capture him, the scripture states, no one laid hands on him because his hour of capture had not yet come. But for us, we do not know when our hour or when the Lord will call us. Only God does. What we can do to prepare ourselves for that time and that hour is to strengthen our faith Right now, because of the coronavirus, our faith is being tried and tested in ways that many of us would never imagine or believed at all. But the importance and essentialness of our faith cannot be understated. Our faith is what comforts us, it's what gives us hope, and it is what helps sustain us. Our faith and hope in the resurrection of Christ our moral king and God is what supplies the beacon of hope for the hopeless. Which is why it's no coincidence that our parish of Holy Trinity, his mission statement states, to be a beacon of the light of Christ at the intersection of Gulf to Bay Boulevard and US 19, where Gulf to Bay Boulevard and Old Coachman Road meet, forms a cross. And right at the center of that cross is the beacon of hope our parish, beloved Holy Trinity, to be a light for everyone in the area, the city, and the region. We can strengthen our faith by praying, reading the scriptures, and tuning in for the services that we offer via live stream. We can call one another, FaceTime or video chat to see if everyone is doing okay. Encourage parents who are trying to work and help teach their kids at the same time and encourage them for a wonderful job they're doing. After all, we are all still learning how to navigate these trying and unprecedented, unprecedented times. So as we celebrate this mid-feast of Pentecost, notice the understanding of the Sunday scriptures will begin to take a shift. The first three weeks we're about the resurrection of Christ who gives us hope and life. And now in the second three weeks will be about how through the risen Christ humanity is made whole again. How water, the symbol of baptism, has created that wholeness with us. May the midway of Pentecost give us the peace and assurance that the resurrection of Christ is real 
and help us with strength, peace, and hope. And for those tedious times of these tedious times of the coronavirus. <clears throat> Amen. Christos Anesti, Okirios.